Well, to start with, we need to work out exactly what's going on here. If it's true that the terrorists are working with the Noble Faction, then... It seems likely their aim is to eliminate the evidence of whatever they've been hiding in the first factory. But did they really have to go this far? The Iron Mine is owned by His Majesty the Emperor himself, right? That's right. The province of Nortia is tasked with managing it while Rhineford mines, refines, and processes the iron. And iron is the single most vital natural resource to this nation's continued survival. If this isn't resolved quickly, it's going to deal a heavy blow to the entire country, including the nobles themselves. So I guess the question is just whether the noble faction and the terrorists realize that or not. Sounds to me like they're a pretty divided bunch as it is. Yep. The terrorists seem like they're basically all commoners, too. They're only cooperating because they both see the Chancellor as a common enemy. And if that's the case, it seems pretty likely that what they're doing here is related to that somehow. Sounds like someone started the party without me. Angelica! You came too, George? Yo, figured you'd show up eventually. Well, we had to test the sidecar, obviously. This bike is just full of surprises. We made the trip to Ruhr in seven hours. So, speed-wise, we're looking great. Comfort, though, we're gonna have to tweak a few things. I swear, you two never change. Kinda figured Toho wouldn't be able to make it, too. Yeah, she's working on gathering a boatload of information, though. She said she'd be in touch if she finds anything out. Well, <laughs> that's reassuring, at least. Um, could someone tell me what's going on? You seem to be hot on the trail of something, but I'm not sure it's the same thing we're investigating. Does this have something to do with those family affairs you told me you were worried about? Yeah, it does. I had some nagging suspicions about it. Unfortunately, my hunch turned out to be right on the money. Hold on. Isn't the director of the first factory... My dear Uncle Heidel Rogner, yeah. Seems like it might do us both some good to swap info. How about it? Now let's find a better place to talk. They're dumping iron onto the black market? Yeah. The amount of steel they're producing doesn't quite match up with the amount of iron ore being mined. That's been the case for quite a few years now. Officially, the reason given is that the purity of the ore being mined is lower now than it used to be. But if you look at what's coming out of the mine, there's no evidence of that. Well, that would explain why the figures don't add up. And because they were feeding the raw iron onto the black market rather than the finished steel... That makes it a lot harder to notice when a little goes missing here and there. Man, Toa put all the pieces together on her own? I'd expect no less from my beloved Toa. She poured over everything. Reinford's yearly sales figures, government reports on the mine's productivity, you name it. That's how she picked up on the discrepancy. She's really something else. Iron ore being sold off the black market, accounting sheets that don't add up... George! How much iron ore is unaccounted for, roughly speaking? Do you know? Assuming for a moment that all the missing iron was refined into steel, how much steel would we be looking at? This is just a bit of speculative math on my part. But I'd say somewhere in the neighborhood of a hundred thousand torum, which is enough to build two thousand oxen tanks. D two thousand? That's practically an army. The Saxon iron mine is a pillar of the Empire's economy. The amount of iron they pull out of there is almost ridiculous. Even if you pocket a small amount every year, it's going to add up to a lot of iron real quick. But what are they planning to do with all of it? Is the noble faction trying to make their own tanks in secret? They couldn't even if they wanted to. 
Only the second factory has the knowledge and equipment to make tanks. And not only does the second factory have close ties with the Imperial Army, it also leans toward the reformist faction. You need all kinds of complicated technology to make even a basic tank. It's not as simple as just grabbing some steel, some blueprints, and some grease and getting to work. So what does that leave them? Selling the iron to another country for profit? I don't know how likely that is. Seems like deals that big would be too easy to trace. Okay, so setting aside the ore itself for a moment, now that you know this, and given what's happening in Ruhr right now, what were the two of you planning on doing? Oh. It's pretty simple. My uncle oversees the first factory, and the provincial army is blockading the mine. There's no way my family isn't involved. On the other side, you've got all the miners just trying to do their jobs who got dragged into this whole mess. I'm a Rogner. I might not be a great daughter, but there's no way I'm gonna let this go on without putting up a fight. Angie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're seriously gonna go talk to your old man about this? <laughs> Hell no. Like he'd even listen to a word I said. Same goes for the Provincial Army. I'd just be wasting my breath. That's why I'm planning on sorting out this mess myself. I used to work part-time in the mine. I know the place like the back of my hand. As long as I can find my way inside, I think I can handle the terrorists well enough. Uh, I figured you'd say something like that. Honestly, does nothing faze you? In that case, I'd like to ask that you take us along. Uh, we can look at this as a test of how to best respond to a sudden crisis. Looking at it from that perspective, I think it fits neatly within the scope of our field study. You? Yeah, after hearing all that, I don't want to let them have their way. Agreed. I'm with Angelica here. My family's involved in this too. I feel like I have a duty to do something about it. Thanks. Truth be told, I was kind of hoping you'd back me up anyway. Whatever help you can give, I'll take it. <laughs> well, that's that. The next thing we need to consider is how to slip into the mine without the provincial army taking notice. At the very least, Angie should be able to get the officer in charge to talk with her, but... So, what, we sneak inside while she's distracting them? I don't know, that sounds a little overly simplistic to work. Leave finding our way in to me. If anyone's good at cutting red tape, it's my mother. Maybe she could help us out. She could. But would she? Well, if you think so. Alright, I'll leave securing an alternate route to you then. For now, I'm gonna see if I can find out anything else about my family's or the provincial army's involvement here. George, give Toa a call, and see if you can find out what the Imperial government is doing about all this. Gotcha. I'll see if I can turn up any machinery that might be useful, too. <laughs> this is starting to feel like last year's field studies all over again.
everyone. I've been waiting for you. I knew it. Like the rising of the sun. I see how it is. You're taking Reinford's side again, huh? <laughs> as long as I wear this uniform, I'm simply a humble maid of the Reinford household. You, the chairman, and Master Gwyn are all deeply important to me. Thanks, I think. Show us in then. Of course. Please follow me. <laughs> <laughs> 